Brooke and I are not exactly standing on bread lines yet. No, I'm not asking for your help. I've never asked for any man's help, and I never will. But I'm telling you, you've got to do something and do it damn fast. All right, we'll talk about it on... Friday. All right, on Friday, at the White House. Goodbye, Mr. President. Listen, Mr. President, I think it's time that you and I buried the hatchet. Why don't you and Mrs. Roosevelt come over here for supper on Christmas Eve on your way to Hyatt Park? Good, I'd be delighted. Goodbye, Mr. President. If I thought he was going to say yes, I wouldn't have asked him. <laughs> Grace, call out Smith and ask him what Democrats say. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, and the uh, package from Tiffany's? Oh, yes, sir. Right this morning. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to give this thing to her and then tell her I want to adopt her. Where is it? Oh, she's upstairs now, writing the letter to the children at the orphanage. I'll go get her. Good. Damn. Mr. Warbucks, you don't have to be nervous. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the whole world. Damn right she is. I'm not nervous. Go get her. Yes. Why not let things be? 
fine. 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 Annie, I think it's time that we have a very serious conversation. You're sending it back to the orphanage, right? Annie, can we have a man-to-man -man talk? Sure. <laughs> you see, Annie, I was born into a very poor family in what they call Hell's Kitchen, right here in New York. And both of my parents died before I was ten. And I made myself a promise. Someday, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very rich. That was a good idea. <laughs> By the time I turned 23, I made my first million. Then in ten years, I turned that into a hundred million. Boy, in those days, that was a lot of money. But, making money is all I've ever cared about. Andy, I might as well tell you, I was ruthless to those I had to climb over to get to the top. But, no, because I always believed in one thing. You don't have to be nice to the people you meet on the way up if you don't plan on coming back down again. <laughs> but, lately I've realized something. No matter how many Rembrandts or Deuce birds you've got, if you've got no one to spend your life with, if you're alone, then you might as well be broken back in Hell's Kitchen. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Sure. Good. Kind of. Kind of? I guess not. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> See, Annie, I picked this up for you the other day when I was at Tiffany's. For me, Miss Norwalks? Gosh, thanks. I had it in great. How'd you get it? It's a silver locket, Annie. I noticed the old broken one you're always wearing, and I thought to myself, I'm going to get this kid a nice new locket. Thank you, Miss Norwalks. 